When you think about the money studios pour into your favorite films, it isn't a shocker that they may need to occasionally reuse a prop or a costume. Still, it can be jarring to see some of these outfits, which have been made famous ones already in classic films, pop up again on some random extra wandering around in the background. Here are a few times movies got caught recycling costumes. Dress for Success who can forget that fabulous purple dress Clara Clayton wore as she, Doc Brown, and their two weirdo kids ended the Back to the Future trilogy by heading out on the ultimate family road trip? Well, it looks like she donated the dress to a Goodwill somewhere along the way, because the character of Shannon in 1992's Far and Away came across the exact same dress in a Boston storefront, and just knew she had to have it. But while some dresses get to travel through time, others just can't catch a break. That's one shipwrecked dress. After surviving the RMS Titanic's collision with an iceberg in the 1996 TV miniseries Titanic, this little black number on actress Mary Lou Henner found itself right back on the doomed passenger liner. This time it was worn by actress Trisha O'Neill in the Oscar-winning 1997 blockbuster Titanic. Talk about a dress that needs a vacation, preferably one that doesn't end up at the bottom of the sea. Of course, that's not the only outfit to survive Neptune's wet grasp. Jacket Everlasting Garments don't get much more famous than this pink jacket worn by Kate Winslet in 1997's Titanic, which sold at auction in 2016 for over $160,000 and was actually made into a doll. And yet, even this iconic outfit was recycled. It popped up again, slightly altered, in the 2002 fantasy film Tuck Everlasting. Look guys, that jacket has a family to feed. No judgments. Helping Peggy As we've figured out by now, period outfits often get reused again and again. If something works for one 1960s series, it'll probably work just as well for a movie set in the same time frame. That was certainly the case with this pink frock, which Elizabeth Moss wore in the Mad Men episode Three Sundays, only for it to pop up again in the 2011 movie The Help, this time worn by Anna Camp. The Hat of a Hero there's always a need for foppish hats, right? Whether you're a musketeer, a pirate, or just a guy who happens to like looking good. This dandy number first popped up in the 2001 flop The Musketeer, worn by future Grey's Anatomy star Justin Chambers. Later, the hat weaved its way through the Hollywood backlots and onto the magnificent mane of Orlando Bloom for the 2003 smash hit Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl. It just proves that old expression. It doesn't matter how bad the movie is, you just can't keep a good hat down. Or something. Prince of Garment Thieves Alan Rickman was a standout in whatever movie he appeared in. Take his turn as the villainous Sheriff of Nottingham in the 1991 action-adventure Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. He single-handedly saved an ill-conceived project simply by being capable of speaking with an English accent. His outfits were no less extraordinary, particularly this beaded piece of black armor that showed up again in both the French films The Visitors and on the back of the Queen's advisor in Braveheart. Fashion Hunter When you're one of the fiercest bounty hunters in the galaxy, you need gear that won't let you down. That may be why Bosk, the Trandoshan bounty hunter who appeared in a little movie called The Empire Strikes Back, lifted his outfit wholesale from an astronaut in a 1966 episode of Doctor Who called The Tenth Planet. In fact, the suit originally came from the Royal Air Force, who used it as a high-altitude pressure suit back in the 60s. Come to think of it, there's nothing more high-pressure than taking on an angry Wookiee. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.